And Ruth did have a slight deformity. She had bow legs. Ooh. And in December 1920, she checked herself into a hospital in Chicago and had her legs broken and straightened. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And she said, any woman who has bow legs should be willing to suffer to have them right. But I think it shows her determination. She wanted to be an actress, you know, and she wanted to, she was willing to have her legs broken to support that. And this is a picture of Ruth when she was in a movie called Ethan Frome, and I'll tell you the significance of it. One Saturday, Ruth was sledding on this or on this hill, and her father came and saw her and said, don't do that. You'll hit your head on that elm down below. This is no place to coast. And she said to her father, but Papa, nobody hits that elm. And in fact, she never hit an elm tree until she was in the play Ethan from when she was sledding, and as part of the movie, she hit an elm tree. Ruth had a fondness for dumps. Um, and as far as we can determine, this was the place where the dump was when she lived at 14 Elmwood. Her father uh, came over after dark and um, dug up a hollyhock, which he planted by their uh, front door. And its flowers were pink, um, pink ruffles edged with garnet. And in the autumn he cut it back, in the spring it grew up again, and Ruth mused, is that why a dump appeals to me? Because it offers promise and mystery? A park's all right if it's not too well kept, but I like an overgrown dump. <laughs>